Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. I am here for my 35 week pregnancy update. I cannot believe we're already doing this update. I'm actually 36 weeks and one day today, but I wanted to do my update on the 35 weeks. So, and then also at the very end, I will show you the 36 week bump and a couple things that I got from Copper Pearl for the baby. Um, it's like this really cute little baby company and they have amazing little swaddles and um, hats and everything like that. So I'm excited to show you. Okay, so first of all, how far along? 36 weeks, but I'm telling you about 35 weeks right now. Total weight gain, um, 27 pounds, still kind of holding steady there. Maternity clothes, yes. So I'm wearing my maternity leggings and then just like a giant <laughs> sweatshirt because who doesn't love all things cozy when you're this pregnant? Stretch marks, still no stretch marks. So that is good. <laughs> How are you sleeping? It's getting harder. It's definitely more of a challenge to like roll over in bed or even like get out of bed. I usually get up like two or three times a night to go to the bathroom. And um, so that's super fun. And then my kids are waking up earlier. I don't know what it is like daylight savings or what. Tell me in the comments below, like do your kids wake up at weird random like early morning times, like right after daylight savings <laughs> because I need <laughs> all the help there. But one thing I will say, this is not related to pregnancy, but um, we have the hatch baby light in the boys' room. And so if the light turns green, they know it's okay to get up for the day. So that actually has helped us a lot. I can link that below for you. Um, because it's like we had the three-year-old waking up at like 4.30 in the morning and coming like ready to start the day so it's been really really helpful to like get them on the pattern where it's like nope your light's not green it's not time to get up yet go back to bed and so they go and they wait for their light to be green so if you're having <laughs> toddler sleep struggles i highly recommend the hatch baby light and we actually have another hatch baby light for the baby's room um, that i'll be using not for that purpose in the beginning but it also has like white noise and um it's just like a nice little light that changes colors or whatever for a night light. So um, I'll link that in the description box for you if you're interested. Um, am I missing anything? I miss sleeping on my stomach and I miss feeling like, um, I don't know, <laughs> myself. <laughs> um, just like energy wise and like, you know, just being able to get up and do all the things that I want to do on a daily basis. Um, movement. Okay. So he just got done with like a big party in there. I was laying down just because there was a lot of pressure like down below. So I was giving myself a little break and, um, he was literally having, I don't know what he was doing, maybe karate, but he was going crazy in there. So I love feeling him move in there. <laughs> he does like stick his, I don't know if it's his butt or his knee. He sticks it out like all the time, like over on this side. And it's just like the weirdest feeling, but it's like so awesome at the same time. Okay. Food cravings. I said last week that I was craving brownies. That still stands true. Um, and then also I mentioned in one of the previous videos that I like to have like popsicle parties with my kiddos and they really like the Pedialyte popsicles, which I don't know why, but like I had this in my last pregnancy too. It was just like one of my favorite things, like next to like Sonic ice, but it's, I guess it's because it's like flavored ice, you know? So it's like, I'm crunching on something and it's cold and it's delicious. Um, I don't know, but I really like <laughs> Pedialyte popsicles right now. And now that I mentioned Sonic Ice, I might have to go get some here in a little bit because that does sound really good. <laughs> okay. Uh, gender guess. We know it's a boy. Third baby boy. Um, labor signs. I have been having lots of Braxton Hicks. Um, I did have an evening this past week. Um, 
where there were a lot of contractions and there was also like some lower belly cramping and my back was kind of hurting like all of the things and so that went on for probably a good like two hours and so at one point i did start tracking um the contractions even though they didn't feel to me like it was really like serious or go time or anything like that um i was just like let me start timing these and my app actually did tell me to go to the hospital but i kind of I was like, well, let me just lay down. Let me see if I can sleep. And I had an appointment at the doctor the next morning. So it all, it kind of calmed down after a little while. So grateful for that. <laughs> um, but it's just one of those things where I think the labor signs are happening sooner this pregnancy with number three because, you know, your body is just kind of ready and um, it kind of knows what to do. But then it makes it harder to kind of like decipher is this you know real or is it not so anyway obviously i'm still pregnant so it was not real labor um symptoms lots of symptoms i feel like end of pregnancy i looked on my app and it said nine months pregnant i was like okay here we are we are in the ninth month i guess well at 36 weeks but um I definitely feel like he has dropped to some degree because like I said in my last week's update, less heartburn and um, I feel like more pressure down below. So there's a lot of like the lightning crotch going on and um, just I have to pee constantly. Like I'll go to the bathroom and then three minutes later like it feels like I have to go so bad and then I'll go and it's like not that much <laughs> but um it's just there's just so much pressure down there and then another thing is that like I guess we can call this my TMI symptom of the week um my like groin area <laughs> hurts on both sides I know that sounds so weird but it's been hurting like off and on kind of throughout but now it's just like constant it's like if you were to work out like your inner thighs and then like those like kind of tendons there in your groin area, they get really, really sore. It just feels like I have been working out like hardcore all the time, but I'm just really busy growing a human, I guess, and taking care of two other little humans. So, um, yeah, that's super fun. <laughs> um, let's see belly button in or out. It is still in ish out it's kind of flat <laughs> sometimes at night it starts to poke out like a little little bit just from like eating and drinking throughout the day plus baby being in there but for the most part it's flat um wedding rings on or off still on i actually at my appointment my blood pressure was like 110 over 72 which i thought was like pretty amazing for this far into pregnancy I was just I don't know why but I was expecting it to just be a little bit higher just because like there's so much extra like blood in your body and fluid and everything and which can sometimes cause um your blood pressure to go up so um I was like grateful for that and then his um heart rate was in the 130s and sounded really great and then my appointment my 36 week appointment on tuesday she's gonna check my cervix for the first time so i will share <laughs> about what happens in that appointment in my next pregnancy update for 36 weeks um <clears throat> am i happy or moody most of the time i would say i'm on the happy <laughs> the happy train here um, towards the end even though like things are more uncomfortable I'm more tired things like that I think I'm just like excited um, to meet this babe and just kind of ready um, it's bittersweet though you know because I don't know this could probably and most likely is my last baby so um, it's bittersweet you know like thinking this could be it like feeling these baby kicks and the movement and um all of the like anticipation 
leading up to baby being born is, um, you know, it's just a chapter in life that's like, you know, feels strange to like close, if that makes any sense. I don't even make sense. I can't think, but it's fine. Um, but anyway, so I have been really happy. I'm happy. Um, and like what am I most excited for and looking forward to just meeting this babe. I cannot wait to just like snuggle him. I was just thinking about like newborn snuggles and just how good they are. And um, I'm trying to get my house like somewhat decorated for Christmas. I think we're gonna put up the tree on Sunday and um, I'll be doing a video of just like putting up the tree and decorating it. So if you're interested in videos like that, make sure that you're subscribed um, and then you turn your notifications on so you don't miss that one. But um, yeah. So just excited for all of that. I'm excited for like Christmas time and having a new baby home and everything. So all the things I'm rambling. I know <laughs> it's what happens when you're nine months pregnant. You just don't know when to stop. <laughs> you just keep talking. <laughs> um, okay. I think I answered all the questions guys. Okay. So before I do the belly shot, I'm going to show you what I got from Copper Pearl. I also got a couple other things that I'll show probably next week because they haven't come in yet from um, Caden Lane. Um, I got a couple personalized things with his name on it. So I'll save those for um, the hospital pictures and everything. But I got a really cute like gown from them and uh, also a robe for me that kind of matched. So... I will show you those if they come in by the time I film my next video. But this is what I got from um, Copper Pearl. So it's all kind of matching. But this is the crib sheet. And it is so soft. Like, I need to wash it. I haven't even washed it yet. But, like, the material is just, like, so nice and soft. So I can't wait to wash this and put it on this... Um, on this crib mattress and then I still haven't decorated the nursery and I don't even know if it's gonna happen before the baby comes just I'm kind of taking it one day at a time like as far as my energy goes and everything like that but I have decor that I want to decorate the nursery with and now I have this which is gonna go along really cute with it so whenever I get the nursery decorated I will bring you on a nursery tour and do a video on that but it hasn't happened yet. It's like third child problems. I know he's going to be in my room for a while. So I'm not like in a huge rush, even though it'd be nice to get it done. And then I got the swaddle blanket and this thing is huge. Like, I don't know if you can even see, but my toddlers could use this and it's like super soft, super stretchy. Like, so when you swaddle them and you kind of like stretch that and like swaddle them up, they're going to feel like they're getting a hug. Like these swaddle blankets are amazing. So I got that and then I got the matching little hat. Oh my gosh. Like how cute is that? And then it has the little knot so you can kind of tie it like if it needs to be bigger or smaller. But again, like same material. It's like super stretchy. And just like really really soft so I'll probably bring this with me to the hospital like this combo because I just feel like this print like for this time of the year it's like November December it's just really really cute and kind of festive and so I'm excited for that so anyway so here's the belly shot I will show you and oh my gosh so this is 36 weeks right now as far as the belly goes 36 weeks in one day you guys I feel humongo like look at that belly belly button still in but yeah so that's the belly for 36 weeks like I said like all things comfy is all I want to wear right now so anyways if you have any questions 
um, or comments, just leave them below. I would love to connect with you if you are pregnant right now or if you're a new mommy, just introduce yourselves in the comments below. And um, yeah, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you're following me at Wellness with Christy on Instagram because you'll see, you know, a little more behind the scenes of our life and that's just where I keep things more updated. So um, yeah, make sure you're following me, make sure you're subscribed and turn on your notifications so that you can see all of the videos and all the fun things that we have going on. I love to make videos about just life and motherhood and um, just I want this to be an encouraging place for moms and um, where you feel connected and um, just we're on this journey together and it's been a crazy, crazy 2020 um, being a mommy and being pregnant. So anyway, um, yeah, that's my pregnancy update. So bye loves.